I think Errol Spence in his prime before the car accident, people say, oh, well, you know, he he, he lost to Terrence Crawford and uh, Errol Spence was never good. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Earl Spence is a big name in some pound for pound fighter. Put some respect on Earl Spence. When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. Even though Earl Spence is coming up, come come off of a loss, he's coming off of a loss, devastating loss to Bud Crawford. He's still a PBC fighter, and we know Tim Zoo is also a PBC fighter. This is a PBC event, right? So, with that being said, I would think it's safe to say that Earl Spence might get priority, and he actually might bump Crawford to the to to, to the side. You know what I'm saying? To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets Yo, what's good YouTube, it's your boy Dr. PGNG I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what it is. The doctor's in the house. Hey, man, today I want to talk about, you know, we have the uh, uh, Tim Zoo versus Sebastian Fedora and uh, Rolly Romero, Esau Pitbull Cruz card going on tonight, man. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be an action-packed card. Of course, um, yesterday, you know, first off, we got to talk about this yesterday, man. We had like, Oscar Valdez versus Liam Wilson. It was a great fight, man. Shout out to Oscar Valdez. He won. Liam Wilson's always a always a, always a great fighter, great challenge. But um, I think with Liam Wilson, man, he just um, he has some questions to answer. You know, all of his all of his losses, he has what? This is the third loss, so they all come by a uh, stoppage. You know what I'm saying? One to Navarrete, one to, uh, of course, his latest, Oscar Valdez, obviously. And then, um, was it Joe Noyne, a Filipino fighter? Um, so, I just think he has some questions to answer. To, to, to answer. Go back to the drawing board. But I still think he's a dangerous contender. He has power, man. He always hurts his, hurts his opponent. And then, also, too, I want to mention, shout out to the ladies. Big up to them. You know, Seniesa, uh, Seniesa Estrada has beat uh, Yocasta, Yocasta Valle. Uh, Valle, so um, for the undisputed minimum weight championship, man, the women's championship at 105, so uh, 105 pounds, so man, shout out to them, that was a great fight, but um, today I want to talk about some things I've been hearing for a while, uh, I've been hearing about these rumblings uh, in regards to uh, Errol Spence potentially getting the winner of Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora, now I've been hearing this for a while, like I said, but you know me, man, I like to be, I like to do my research and be thorough and, and, and be confident with the news before I report it, man, I just don't want to just, just holler at y'all about any nonsense, you know what I'm saying? So um, it has, it has definitely picked up some traction. You know, they have uh, we we have seen that um, Tim Zhu himself has talked about it now with the big fish coming out, coming out, man. He said he's back at it, man. He's gonna go and he he wants the winner of Sebastian uh, Fedora versus uh, Tim Zhu. Now a lot of people are like, wait, hold on, what, what about Bud? Though Bud has already activated his mandatory to get the to get the winner, right? Um, it's, particularly if it's Tim Zoo, you know, and, and it's been discussed and talked about as being potentially the biggest fight in Australian history, in Australian boxing history, uh, being upwards of potentially $38 million. So it could generate a lot of revenue. Well, however, you know, um, even though Errol Spence has come, out, come, come off of a loss, he's coming off of a loss, devastating loss to Bud Crawford, he's still a PBC fighter. And we know Tim Zoo is also a PBC fighter. This is a PBC event, right? So with that being said, I would think it's safe to say that Earl Spence might get priority and he actually might bump Crawford to the to, to, to the side, you know what I'm saying? To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. People say, oh well, but he activated his mandatory. Tim Zoo, uh, I mean, Ted, uh, Ted Bud Crawford activated his mandatory, yeah, but Tim Zoo could definitely relinquish that belt and go for the Earl Spence fight first and double up on his money and then fight Crawford next, you know what I'm saying? So Terrence Bud Crawford might actually get pushed to the side, you know what I'm saying? To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. And and, and and I think it's safe to say that uh, Errol Spence is a big name, and it, uh, I'm not gonna say it will generate more than Terence Crawford. I don't think so, but it will generate a substantial amount of money. And I think it's less the risk with the current state that Errol Spence is in right now. You know, I think Errol Spence in his prime before the car accident, people say, "Oh well, you know, he he, he lost to Terence Crawford, and uh, Errol Spence was never good." No, man, he was just a pound for pound fighter. Put some respect on Errol Spence. When my name come up, respect it. Let's go. Stop playing with my fucking name. I'll drill y'all. You know. People say, oh, he's using that excuse as his loss to Terrence Crawford. No, if you really watch boxing, you would know that even against your Dennis Ugas and even against Danny Garcia, he just happened to win those fights. People are like, oh, he doesn't look the same after the car accident. You know what I'm saying? It just, just so happens that Terrence Crawford is so good that at 85, uh, Spence at 85%, uh, let's just say, hypothetically speaking, is not good enough to beat Terrence Crawford. I don't think Errol Spence was good enough to beat Terrence Crawford, even at 100%, but it doesn't help that he was uh, hindered from the car accident. And now with all that being said, I have Tim Zhu winning if they do fight because of the uh, residual impacts, you know, negative impacts on, on Errol Spence, you know, and he's not this, I don't think he's the same, I don't think he'll ever be the same, uh, I don't think he wins, um, and I don't, um, 
yeah, I don't think he beats Tim Zhu. I just think uh, him being at 154, even though he said he'd be more comfortable because he was drained, uh, making 147. I just think that Tim Zhu, they have a similar style. They both like to engage, both pressure fighters. I, I don't think right now that uh, Errol Spence will be able to handle Tim Zhu's power, man. That's just my personal opinion. Um, and Tim Zhu's a good fighter, you know what I'm saying? So um, uh, I, I, I think if it was in their prime, man, I, I like this fight, and I think Errol Spence wins. Um, but I don't think Errol Spence, you know, I, I really think he might, might, might need to consider retiring because, you know, that, that car accident, man, it, 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 that was a devastating uh, accident, man. And it has uh, negative impacts on your health. You won't have any um, chronic <laughs> injuries or lasting injuries, you know, um, from fighting too long, you know. Um, but, yeah, so I do think it's, a, it's, a, it's actual, it's coming into reality, man. It's a possible potential reality that um, we could see Errol Spence, whether it's Fandora or Tim Zhu, he could potentially get the winner. Of, uh, of of tonight's matchup between Tim Zhu and Fandora, especially if it's Tim Zhu, and um and and bump Crawford to the side, man. To the left, to the left, everything you own in the box to the left. And that that's crazy. That's so fortunate for Bud. I want to see Bud back in the ring, but you know that's what happens. You know, it's like we see this happen all the time, right? With these promotion companies, you know, PBC, they're gonna take care of their fighter. Errol Spence is a PBC fighter. Chance Crawford is a free agent. That's what that's what comes with it. That comes with the territory. You know, what I'm saying we see Matchroom do it all the time. We see Golden Boy do it all the time. We see uh. Whatever, whatever promotion it is, you know, top rank, do it all the time. They're going to take care of their fighters first, which, which you should be. That's, that's, that's the perks of being with a promotion company, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. Errol Spence versus Tim Zhu. Terrence Crawford versus Tim Zhu. If, if it's Errol Spence versus Tim Zhu, I have, I have Tim Zhu winning. If it's Errol Spence versus Fandora, I think that would be a little more challenging. But I, I don't, I'm not really sure that happens. But if it does happen, I, I, I will lean towards Errol Spence. Uh, and then Terrence Crawford versus Tim Zhu, I got Terrence Crawford winning. And Terrence Crawford versus Fandora, I don't even think that Terrence Crawford would want to entertain that. I don't think there's any money in that. You know what I'm saying? Fandora doesn't really have a big country behind him like Tim Zhu does. Um, but if it, um, let's say hypothetically it happened, I got Terrence Crawford. But Tim Zhu and Terrence Crawford, ooh-wee. I got Terrence Crawford on that one, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, man. We will be live streaming the boxing fight as always. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to those that came through for the, for the fight uh, last night. And uh, yeah, come come through tonight, man. We're going to be watching, man. I got I got Pitbull beating Roly, and I got Tim Zoo beating Fandora. Y'all let me know what y'all think. We out. God bless. Remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Happy Easter for tomorrow. Peace. Love y'all. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.